Hi, welcome to Penn State Hazleton. I'm here to show you around. I'm standing in front of Penn State's famous Nittany Lion Shrine, and directly behind me is the Pasco Shivo Hall. That's basically the administration building, so anytime you need to talk to admissions, academic advising, financial aid, pay your bill at the Bursar's office, all of that can be located in Pasco Shivo Hall. Pasco Shivo Hall was the home of the Markles, who actually owned the estate before it was the Penn State Hazleton campus. The Hazleton Undergraduate Center opened in September 1934 in various locations in downtown Hazleton. A permanent home came in December 1948 through a purchase and donation when the college acquired the 66-acre former estate of the Markle family. The estate consisted of four buildings, including a 32-room Fieldstone mansion, giving the university the space it needed. Next to Pasco Shivo Hall is the Dr. Lil Junis Garden, which was dedicated in 2015. This garden connects Shivo Hall and our Slusser Basic Building, which contains continuing education. In continuing education, we have a couple certificate programs, including our LPN program. It also houses our Black Box Theater, as well as some on-campus events, events that students run, and faculty and staff. Our 125-acre campus is located on a hill. So on the upper side of campus, we have all the academic buildings, and then connected by a few parking lots, we have our residential part of campus in the lower half. Here we are at High Acres Cafe, which is open seven days a week and offers full-scale food court style meals for our students. High Acres Cafe serves three meals per day, Monday through Friday, has late night munchies, and serves brunch and dinner on Saturday and Sunday. You have three different meal plans to choose from when you're a Penn State student. The full-scale food court style includes a salad bar, fresh fruit bar, action station, pescatarian and vegetarian station, grilled specials, grab-and-go entrees and desserts, deli station, and pizza station. We also accommodate any allergies or restrictions that any student may have. Inside the Higher Acres Cafe is the food and housing office where students can go to if they have questions about meal plans, their housing contracts. They could also pick up their mail here as well. They'll share the mailbox with their roommate and if anything doesn't fit in the mailbox, you just have to pick it up in the office. When it comes to on-campus housing, you have two different options. We have South Hall and North Hall. South Hall, which is right behind me, um, is our traditional communal living area and North Hall is our suite style. We'll check out both. North Hall houses the Residence Life Offices, which are comprised of professional staff and resident assistants. Each floor of the buildings has an RA, which is an upper-class student who is excited to help others and has participated in a three-credit preparatory course and a rigorous hiring process. Both South Hall and North Hall have resident assistants. The professional staff helps with higher-level conflict resolution, student conduct, and crisis management. All the rooms in South Hall come bunked. You can unbunk the beds as you'd like. You just have to keep the pins. Otherwise, if you lose them, you have to pay for them. Um, you can move the furniture around however you'd like. You just can't move anything out of the room. The room comes with obviously two beds, two desks, two drawers, and two closets, as well as the micro fridge. So you don't have to worry about bringing anything from home. Like I said, you can decorate the room however you'd like. You just can't put any holes in the walls. You can bring in a television, video game consoles. Wi-Fi is also available in the dorms as well, and you can make it your own. North Hall offers suite style living for our students. So what that means is that two students will share one room. They'll be connected by a walkway and a bathroom. And then on the other side is another set of students. So like South Hall, North Hall also comes with two beds, two desks, two closets, and two sets of drawers, as well as the micro fridge. The Physical Education Building is one of our largest buildings on campus. It holds our fitness centers, pool, and also houses health services and physical therapist assistant labs. Penn State Hazleton offers eight intercollegiate sports programs that compete at the PSU AC division. These sports are men and women's basketball, men and women's soccer, men's golf, women's volleyball, softball, and baseball. The sports teams will use the gym for practices, but it's also open to all students. The pool is open to the campus and is staffed by student lifeguards, which is an available job for students on campus. The cardio room and weight room offer a variety of fitness machines, free weights, strength and cardio training items, as well as a CrossFit station. So as we're leaving the phys ed building, we're entering the academic part of campus, which includes the Graham Building, the Butler Teaching and Learning Resource Center, the Costas Building, and the Lofstrom Library. 
The Mary M. and Bertel E. Lofstrom Library underwent a $7.6 million renovation and opened in fall 2020. One of the largest libraries, this building includes five group study rooms, a one-button studio, two media commons rooms, the career closet, the math dimension, access to one of the largest academic research libraries, electronic and print collections, and two makerspace rooms, one supervised and one student area. The makerspace rooms are stocked with resources like a laser engraver, vacuum former, plastic injection machine, resin 3D printers, poster printer, spheros, little bits, drill press, design software, and other various tools. So to my left is the Graham Building. Um, one of our larger lecture halls are in the Graham Building. It holds about 115 students. So that's about as big as it gets at Penn State Hazleton. It also has a computer lab. To the right is the Butler Building. It's considered the Student Union Building. It holds the Student Success Center, as well as a small cafe and student services and engagement. The Student Success Center is one of our more recently renovated spaces on campus. It has a lot of resources for students to access, including free peer tutors for all of our classes, student disability resources, a writing center, which features faculty members that review your papers based on whatever subject it is that you may have. And it also includes individual study rooms, comfortable group areas, a smart cap board, air media, and computers that are available for the students to use. Continuing down the campus mall, we have the bookstore. Obviously has some Penn State swag, but also sells snacks, books, and is also affiliated with Barnes & Noble. This is the Costas Building, our largest classroom building on campus. The Costas Building underwent a $15 million renovation that was completed in 2017. So everything in this building is brand new, including our STEM labs that house biology, microbiology, anatomy and physiology, organic and inorganic chemistry, engineering and physics labs. They also house a lot of the faculty offices and most of the classrooms that are available on campus. Common areas provide a space for group work and independent study with an emphasis on collaborative group work. It also houses study lounges, charging stations, computer labs, and the largest lecture hall that we have on campus, which seats approximately 160 people. Thanks for taking the time to join me on tour. If you're looking for more information about Penn State Hazleton, feel free to visit hazleton.psu.edu.